morning everybody welcome back to a brand new video we are cozy this morning and cute yes we are i'm making myself a egg breakfast scramble with some broccoli which one day maybe you'll like and what else did i put in there broccoli and oh mushrooms very delicious lamb this little guy just woke up from a nap he's ready to eat so we have your bottle warming yeah Larry just ate. He was on to his dessert cereal, but little man had other plans. Dessert can wait. Dessert's gonna have to wait. Floating leaf. Uh. <laughs> there it is. You got me. You did. You want me to follow you into the living room? Yes, please. Right. Well, come on then. La, 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 la. Here is my breakfast. So we have the egg scramble and then four sliced strawberries. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. You joined me in the car this morning because I am headed out for my annual exam for my pap smear. Guys, I haven't had one in a long time. Like I'm overdue. I actually don't remember the last time I had one, which is not the best. I think you're supposed to get them every three years. And I assumed that the fertility clinic did one when I started the IUI journey which then led into the IVF journey and I called them and asked and they're like nope we don't do that and I was like oh okay so then I had to tell the regular OB nope I haven't had one in a long time so we're headed off to do that I'm not excited about it but it is important so we are going to get that done so if you've been putting yours off definitely make an appointment to go get your pap smear so I'll let you guys know how that whole experience goes but also I missed a video yesterday and I was really bummed about it and I'm like you know what as they say it's the season that we are in the season of life and yesterday I was just not able to pick up the camera I was dead tired I am dead tired <laughs> um, so it just it just didn't go well plus I was catching up on doing laundry I literally had nothing to film and I just didn't want to put you guys through a vlog that was just me either, you know, taking care of Liam, laying on the couch, feeding Liam, or doing laundry. So a vlog just didn't happen yesterday, but that's okay. I am letting it go. It is what it is. And, you know, that's okay. We're not going to be hard on ourselves. But today we have some important things to do. After the appointment, I am going to stop home, do a pumping session, check on Larry and Liam, see how they're getting on, which they're fine. I just want to see them. Um, and then we are going to be running out for some last minute Christmas shopping. It is Tuesday. You guys will be seeing this Wednesday, which is tomorrow. And I need to pick up, we're going to make a couple of stops. I definitely know I want to go to Sprouts. There's a couple of gift ideas that I have from Sprouts, and then there is also some food-related things that I wanna get from Sprouts. I am making the green bean casserole for Christmas this year. Let me know, do you guys like green bean casserole or not? It's like one of my favorite things ever. So let me know if you like it. And then um, we might zip into Target to pick up some last-minute things. I do need to get diapers again and wipes. I got this really big case of wipes from Walmart I believe and they've lasted for a long time but we're getting low and come after Christmas I do this thing every year I do not like to leave the house until well into the new year I'm just like right I'm staying home I'm relaxing and I don't want to go out and deal with anything so I will do my last minute like food shop home stuff and I will not return to the stores until 2023 which sounds so wild to say and um, I might zip into TJ Maxx. I probably won't. I might. Is it a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx that's over there? Just to see if there's any like gift ideas or clothing related items for the guys. Like my dad, my grandpa, my brother, and Larry. Liam is set. <laughs> Apparently, okay, so one of my friends sent me a message and she just had a baby. So congratulations. Um, her name is Madeline. But she sent me a text and she was like, oh, Gab's having a sale on all the baby clothes, go quick. And I'm like, okay. So I ran over to Gab and I purchased Liam like $300 worth of stuff that I got for like a hundred bucks. And it was insane. I got him stuff for like what he's in now and then some summery cute things like 
we are prepared. So Liam is all set for Christmas. Let me know guys, we're getting down to the wire now officially. Have you finished the Christmas shopping? Are you all wrapped and complete? Because if you're not, that's okay. Take a deep breath, I get it, I'm right there with you but let's get on it together. Of course, Christmas is not about the gifts and getting everything wrapped, um, but I just wanted to ask how you guys were doing with that and, and see what is going on. Anyways, I'm gonna be done char- Ooh, that was loud. Charpen your ears off on this lovely fine morning. Um, and I, oh, you know what? If you're a breastfeeding mom, I've had this once before severe deep pain in my boob it's not a clogged duct I've had those so I definitely know what that pain is this is like a deep painful thing and it's happened to me once it lasted like a day and then it goes away so I don't even know if it's like worth mentioning to the doctor probably should just mention it because I'm going and I'm there uh, but anyways yeah it is not fun it's painful even when I'm not pumping, but it is excruciating during pumping. Again, not a clogged duct. Anyways, that's boring for some of you. I'm sorry. So, anyways, let's, let's, uh, I'll check in with you guys after the appointment. I have finished the doctor's appointment. I don't think I filmed since the appointment. So I went in, everything went well, and then I went home, I ate really quick, I pumped really quick, and now I am back out. I just finished my Sprouts shopping, and I was FaceTiming Angela while Sprouts shopping and catching up with her. If you do not know who Angela is, she is my best friend. Um, so she's doing well, she says hello to you guys, and um, I did pick up a few things, so I'll share those. Some of them are Christmassy related for food because I'm going to be making the green bean casserole this year. And now we're zipping into Target. Wish me luck. It's crazy. Lots of traffic. Lots of beeping horns. All the things. Everybody is ready for the holidays, I will tell you that. Or maybe none of us are ready for the holidays, which is why we're all still out and about. <laughs> so let's head into Target. I'm back home now and I'm getting ready to eat lunch. This is the Living Color Roll from Sprouts and it looks like you have tuna on here and salmon, I believe. Um, yes, tuna, salmon, and then it looks like crab or imitation crab. So I'm gonna eat this now. I am so hungry. Okay, so it's just another one of those days where I'm like, right. Am I gonna get this vlog out? <laughs> so it is almost 5 p.m. Liam is down for a nap. And I'm gonna hop on and show you guys a couple of the things that I picked up at the store. So I ate the sushi, so good. If you can try sushi from like a Whole Foods or a Sprouts or any of those places, definitely try it, it is so good. Um, but I picked up a few books that I saw and I was like, ooh, nice. So I'm a huge fan of Outlander and Sam, Hugan, I'm guessing is how you pronounce his name, was Jamie, or he played the character Jamie in Outlander, loved his character so much. And he wrote this book about his Scottish journey. So it's a journey into the Scottish Highlands in the first memoir by the best-selling author and star of Outlander. He's exploring his life and reflecting on the waypoints that divine him. So I thought that would be a nice read. We'll see, I'll let you guys know. And then this, this is stunning. Like this is a showpiece book in my opinion. It's just one of those that is so pretty. I thought maybe for the bookshelves, maybe for the shelf in the living room when I take down all the Christmas decor, but this is no Lexi and Luna. This is the crown in Vogue. It has Princess Diana on it. The spine, oh, that's upside down. Wait, is it? What is happening? It's mirrored, so I think it looks weird. Um, it just, it's the color is very beautiful. It's a pretty blue. I liked that. I don't know, it's just so pretty. And then the next and last book that I purchased was Inside Bridgerton. Huge fan of Bridgerton. I love it. And then again, if you take the dust jacket off, first of all, look at the inside of this, how pretty that is. But if you take the dust jacket off, you have this very beautiful powder blue with a gold foil. Again, pretty display book, but I love Bridgerton 
also to begin with. So let's just flip open a page and see what's inside the page that we opened to. Let's see. All right. Oh, I lost the page. But yeah, so you get like behind the scenes information and just stuff like that. Okay, moving on to foodie items. Okay, so travel down a healthy coffee journey with me. <laughs> okay, I am a huge fan of like coffee creamer that tastes good. So basically high sugar coffee creamer. Now going into the new year, I wanna try and do better. Larry is not into like the resolutions. This is not a resolution. This is just me trying to do better. And every time I try to get a creamer that may be healthier or a better version, uh, I just don't like it. I found this at Sprouts. This is the Collagen MCT Creamer with Coconut Milk. It has um, 10 grams of collagen, four grams of carbs. It's a vanilla flavored creamer. You just add a scoop to your coffee. It smells so good. I'm gonna try it in the morning with you guys. Hopefully I like it, but I love coconut and I love vanilla. So I'm hoping that this tastes good. And it does have one gram of sugar for two scoops and I will not be putting two full scoops because the scoop size is pretty big. So I'll probably just sprinkle a bit. Maybe do a tablespoon or so. We'll see, we'll see. Um, we're died. So anyways, so I got that creamer and then I also picked up a few snacky goodies. So I'm gonna be making sausage balls. They're really good. So you basically do sausage, this mix with cheddar cheese, celery, onion, you bake them in the oven. They're so good. And then I am going to switch over to a regular coffee pot come the new year. So I picked myself up some coffee, a big bag of grounds, and then this I thought to add to smoothies. I've heard they're really good for you. Let's see. So protein, 10 grams of protein for three tablespoons. I got some more coconut oil, some kettle potato chips. I am going to take you on a very overwhelming, overstuffed, unorganized refrigerator tour because I've put everything away. So up here we have a huge thing of the organic salad mix. Um, lots of fresh green beans from Sprouts so I can make green bean casserole. I picked up some, what are these called? Grapefruits. Oh, this looked good. I'm a huge salad lover. So this is the Italian olive salad and sandwich spread. I never thought to add it to sandwiches. That'd probably be really good. And then in here we have more green beans. I have green onions. There's some Brussels sprouts in there. Also got celery and then rainbow carrots, which look great. Over here, we have an extra thing of sushi, some fresh strawberries. Oh my gosh, this looked good. So this is a milk and cookies. The last time I got the Chobani Zero Sugar, I didn't like it. I thought it tasted a little too artificially sweetened. Um, but I thought maybe the milk and cookies would be delicious. So I grabbed that. And then I've heard this brand is really yummy. So it's the vanilla by the brand Too Good. Got a red onion. Um, and I think, oh, wait. This is the sausage that you need for those sausage balls, by the way. And then I got some cheddar for the sausage. sausage sh oh my God. <laughs> the sausage balls. This goes in them as well. I don't think I said cheese. And then like quick snacks. I got some cheese heads swirl. So it's cheddar and mozzarella, which I have never seen before. 